All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Nez's Nook. I can't say that without smiling. If you're new here, welcome. So today we're going to my favorite place besides the library. We're going to Barnes and Nobles. This is not sponsored, but I wish. So a lot of you requested a bookstore vlog slash haul slash TBR list. So we're gonna do that today because I'm due for a trip to the bookstore. I've read almost everything. On my dining table, yes, all my books are currently piled on my dining table because my bookshelves are running late. I already have a lot of books that I've been wanting to get, so I'm gonna grab those and we'll see. We'll see what else. All right guys, so I just got here. I got my handy dandy tote bag because of the bag shortage. I don't know how much I'm gonna film inside because I get major anxiety filming in public because I feel like everyone's judging me. Also you guys, it is a million degrees in LA. What day is it? It is June 20th, Monday. If you guys live here, you understand this is insane. I haven't even checked how hot it is. 95? And I'm outside? All right, let's get it. All right, so of course I started in the romance section. I grabbed People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. You guys told me I had to read this one. This is me admiring some Colleen Hoover books, of course. If you guys have any other Colleen favorites, let me know and I will grab them. This is Mysteries and Thrillers. I've been trying to get more into this genre, so if you guys have any favorites, please leave them down below in the comment section. And then this is the fantasy section. I saw all the Game of Thrones books and let me know if I should read them. I was a huge fan of the TV show, so let me know if the books are worth it and if you liked them. So yeah, that's it. All right, I did some damage. I don't even want to look at the receipt. I guess I'll just start. Um, if you guys have read any of these books, give me your rating, um, how many stars you give them. So the first book, because you guys already saw me grab it in the vlog footage, is People We Meet on Vacation, Emily Henry. I already read Beach Read and Book Lovers, and I love her style of writing. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm a sucker for romance like this. I have no idea what it's about, obviously, like always. It says two best friends, 10 summer trips, one last chance to fall in love. It is 361 pages, so it's a good little chunk of book. Also, I'm not sure if she has other books, but if she does, let me know. If you've read any of her other books, let me know how you like them, which ones you recommend, or if these are the best ones. Let me know. Okay, so the next book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I'd never seen this book before. I just found it on one of the front tables in the store and I did read the back. I usually don't, but I did. And it's giving, it's giving Beauty and the Beast, but with like different stuff. So I'm excited to read this. It is a romance, it says, it says seductive, breathtaking book that blends romance, adventure, and fairy lore into an unforgettable read. So, I'd never heard of this author before. I don't know what other book she's written, but if you guys have read this, let me know how many stars you gave it, what you rated. It. it is 416 pages. I'm not gonna lie, I also picked it up because I love the cover and I love the colors and just everything that's going on, so. We'll let you know about that. All right, so the next book is The Hotel Nantucket. I had seen this online. Um, it says by the author of The Golden Girl, which I haven't read. If you guys have read it, let me know if I should read it. This is definitely a beach read. It's giving that whole vibe, even from the cover. All right, I'm just gonna read the first part. It says, fresh off of a bad breakup with a longtime boyfriend, Nantucket sweetheart Lizbeth Keaton is desperately seeking a second act. <laughs> All right, this next book is The Messy Lives of Book People by Phaedra Patrick. I'm pretty sure this just dropped. I think this is like a brand new book. I saw it online, read good things. Don't know what it's about. Um, it says the house cleaner of a famous author must carry out her employer's shocking last wish in this delightful new novel from author Phaedra Patrick. I'm excited. I love the cover. Obviously it has books on it. If you guys have read this, let me know. I don't know how many of you would have read it though because I'm pretty sure this just, like, just dropped. Okay, yeah, this just dropped May 31st, 2022, so I will read this and let you guys know what I think. 
but that is the messy lives of book people. All right, the next book is Every Summer After. I've seen this in a bunch of places. Also, it has a quote from Emily Henry on the front, a radiant debut. So I was like sold on it. Now, is this a series? I feel like something I bought is a series, but I'm not sure. It also says six summers to fall in love, one moment to fall apart, a weekend to get it right. I can already tell that I'm gonna love this, especially because of Emily Henry's little endorsement up here on the cover. A perfectly gorgeous summer love story. 304 pages. So yeah, that is every summer after. All right, next is Her Majesty's Royal Cove by Juno Dawson. This is also a brand new book. It dropped May 31st. 2022. It says, at the dawn of their adolescence on the eve of summer solstice, four young girls, Helena, Leone, N I'm going to butcher these characters' names. N N Nia? Nia. Now, decades later, the witch community is still reeling from a civil war, and Helena is the reigning high priestess of the organization. So, it reminds me a lot of the craft, but not quite. So, I will let you know what I think about this. It's obviously not my usual romance novel, which is also why I grabbed it. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to branch out. It is 429 pages. It's also on like the monthly pick from Barnes and Noble, so that's that. All right, next is The Family You Make by Jill Shalvis. Now, this is the series, I believe. I think this is the series, and this is the first of this one. During the snowstorm of the century, Levi Cutler is stranded on a ski lift with a beautiful stranger named Jane. If you guys have read this series, let me know what you think. I think she has multiple different series of books, so I'm excited. Now the next book, of course, I finally got it. You guys have been yelling at me. Literally, I was so hesitant. I don't like scary stuff. I know you guys saw my Instagram. I just finished The Silent Patient, which I will tell you guys in my next video, but I'm gonna give this a go. It is a romance thriller. I don't wanna read the back because I just wanna be surprised. I don't wanna know what this is about. That is Verity. I will let you guys know my thoughts very soon, so. And last but not least, I have Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I've been wanting to buy this. I keep forgetting every time I go to the bookstore. It's about to be a movie, so I'm definitely gonna maybe read this one first. What's funny though is that every time we've been to the bookstore, me and Crawford together, he sees this and he goes, it's my book, and I'm like, Named a best book of the year by New York Times book review, BuzzFeed, Bustle, USA Today. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't know it was like that. Record-breaking phenomenon that has captivated more than 12 million readers? For years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barkley Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. All right, so my camera died right as I was about to tell my ghost story. So, Am I a little freaked out? As I was saying, back home, there's this place called Marsh Road that is supposedly haunted. If you guys like weird, scary ghost stories, you guys can look it up, but yeah, me and my friends would sneak out at night to go to Marsh Road in hopes that we would like see this ghost of this girl that like died there, but I wonder if it's related in any way, because I've never like, I've never heard that um, anywhere else, but yeah. In late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. I'm actually so excited to read this, but that is where the crawdads sing. As always, please leave me book recommendations down below. You guys have been the best with recommending books. You guys got excellent taste. We hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you guys so much. I'm just so excited for this new chapter. No pun intended. But yeah, that is the end. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, comment down below again any book recs you got from me. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. Join the family and I love ya. We're doing great and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.